Hi right, guys, welcome back to All Season Sea Fishing. Today, we're just at Blythe. We want to stay local after D-Day, the last video, that's what we're calling it. All in all, it was an experience. But today, we're hoping to get back on the fish. Hopefully, bring a nice few in. I am joined by Adam, Will, Sean. Lovely day. We did get along to the schooner this morning, but uh, tidal pull was ridiculous. Let's just pull them right in. So we thought we'd cut the losses early and come and try here. This is what back up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it does help. The channel's grown great. If you do like the content that you're seeing, please hit that like button also. I appreciate everybody's support. I've waited before casting out. As you can see, this boat was uh, getting ready to turn around, I think. All sorts of shite on the floor here, like. So it doesn't matter where you're going, does it? Some people just... Line and all sorts, man. Look at that. Been just there now, you know. You tell it, See that? Yeah, I like this to it, man. Two cents, two cents. Here you go, man. <laughs> Some more like this. That line as well, man. So worst thing about picking up that line there, you know, this was just there. Recycle fishing line, commercial net and rope debris here. Know what I mean? Says it all. But, just saying, we do need these in South Shields, like, on the pier, the walkway, anywhere along the river, like. We have mentioned it to the residents that live at the walkway, like. Right guys, we've got uh, all sorts of bait left over from D-Day. Day. Welcome. Got bits of cart in there and now. Cart, crabs, mussel, mackerel squid. So there's all sorts of bait there. Very quiet so far, a couple of knocks. Not major happening yet. It says low tide soon. So on the flood, it'll hopefully pick up. Being told it's fishing quite well on a high tide by a subscriber there. Chance I might get a flat or two. It's a nice mack, well that to be fair. Best one we've had up the day. <laughs> Just spinning here, right to the left of where we are. Yeah, what are you doing, hiding the back? Uh, can I have it? Yeah, you can have it. You belter, thank you very much. Uh, Adam, size of the hook compared to the fish. Mm, That's just sea of your blonde. Oh, I'm willing to let it go, me. Legs 11. There's a lot more people turning up there and out to fish. It just seems to be like everyone's spinning here. I do feel like we're uh, pissing against the wind, bait fishing here. I mean, Adam's had that tiny little white, and I, I believe it was. Foul hooked it, saves his blank though. We're gonna be heading off towards uh, Heaven, we think. We're gonna see if we can do anything there. Like I say, it's been absolutely dead here. A couple of bites, but we think that's just been absolutely tiny fish. There's the way it is. Another half hour though, and we'll probably end up with heaven. Like 
like I say, people are just spinning, yeah. I think we're pissing against the wind, bait fishing. I'm spinning, that's all. I want a few metal for, for eat. You want the spinners, huh? Good sight, sight. Yeah, yeah. Good sight, sight. 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 Good Tell you, it's been a road, haven't you? Oh, you've got a bigger road, like. Bit of Sean Garner, what it helped, Wolf. Thank you very much, Pat. It's a nice mackerel, lad. Oh, you're supposed to sort that. Because we're sucking away, we're not eating them, don't you, sir? No, I will. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good man, Jim. Very fair play, fair play, boys. Thank you. This is what Sean's just brought in. Fell off. It snapped off on the way up. And then what will I am? With a nice mucky doodle do. Another one, Will. As soon as the lad to the right of him pulled one in, he was like, I'm whacking this out with daylights on. Let's see it. Bait for next week. We're going to be fishing with mackerel. Uh, that's, it. that's the third mackerel brought in. Absolutely lovely. What well, bait for some air for the next weekend? What a tangle. Oh, another mackerel. Will you disappear at all? It's hard to look, does it? There's another mackerel just coming down there after. There's bellboy hairdo. Crossing our lines again to pinch people's spots. Aye, uh, people's lines, you know, where he's like, he would be dragging people's line in soon. Put your album on. No, no. Full of shit. Oh, wait to heaven now. So. I'll be back with you very soon. Right, we're now here at Heaven. A couple of people fishing just beyond Sean's car there. There is a pull on the tide though. I say I've just cast out and it's whipping me straight to the left. It might be the case, I might have to get my rod stand out maybe. And there. Uh, Move just to where Adam is. Just say uh, I have to move to the right of him. We'll see. But fingers crossed, I can avoid this third blank. Sean can avoid his second. Because Adam the jammy get foul hook that tiddler. Be back with you soon. Drop it, mate. There we go, and there's Will's first fish on the bait. Was that the fresh mac will he use? Oh. Fair play. Oh, hi, Adam. What's this we brought in? Whitey. Whitey, aye. Right through the lip. Happy days, mate. How well? Right guys, I'm uh, just getting ready to bait up for the next one, so I've got my baiting needle and I'm just poking through there twice, maybe three times. Get me thread. This shit never goes to plant. See, I'm gonna use a small bait. I'm literally just binding that onto the bait needle there. Oh. Just like that.
goes wrong with the distance between the year three D and the one years of the old design of that school. There you go. Ready to go on for the next beard. We here with the one that's normally the unicorn. That's his third fish of the day. Fair play, Adam. Tommy. Codlin. A cod. Hi. Oh, Adam. Cod. Ah, cod. What size was it? No wonder. Well, I think, right, so I'm gonna, right, I'm just about to bait up for my next one. As you've seen before, I was using a bit of squid. Now, I'm using mussel on one hook, and I'll be using a bit of peel or crab on the other. So I literally get my bait and needle, just slide it straight through. I like to roll it on the best I can. Pick up my thread, and just tie that on. And I'll just slide onto me next, onto one of my hooks next. So the next bit is peel a crab. I'll just go straight through there. Let's see how I like to grab a hat of it. Get me thread. It's in better days, but these are just what was left over from the trip to Morgan. Nice and sloppy. Beautiful. Two baits there. Hopefully another Tommy Codlin will come out. There you can, that's the crab on. I've got the muscle on the bottom hook. Get this lashed out. Sorry, I wasn't recording now. Is all the bad yet? Wrap myself. How me would you get this bait in the fucking air? Boy, like. There we go. Lads are fishing right to the left away. Got oh, themselves an eel in now. Oh, it looks like it's got stuff wrapped like... around your rig before we just pull out. Ah! If it doesn't get more wrapped, that is. Well, you've had one more fish than Sean at the bottom there. He's been up at 7 o'clock this morning. Lost a couple of them when I was. Hey guys, went to our last cast. Eh. Uh, you fish brought in. You can since we've come here out of heaven. I've had the cod and the eel. Will's had an eel. Adam's had a couple of white and out. Sean's taking a massive blank on his last cast. Don't worry, it's always next week. Don't worry, bad. He's got to be hopeful, honey. Way right, that brings this one to an end, guys. Been a canny day all, all around. Uh, the bit spinning earlier on when the lads are pulling the mackerel in a blife to come in here catching a few fish being a canny day do hope you like the video though please like share and subscribe if you haven't already if you're not part of the facebook group please get yourself in we've got a class community and i'd love to see what everyone's getting up to as you know i work for a company called prs inclusions they can help anybody who is over the age of 16 years old gain employment. They can help you with your interview skills, your CV, character building and all sorts. They do job coaching a lot. So if you're interested, I'm going to put the leaflet here and I'll also put it at the end of the video for you. Right, the next one, it looks like we're going to be going to Mars and so we'll be talking about. So until then, from me and the lads, tight lines. Uh,